During an interview with Sean Hannity, Donald Trump made it clear that he would like to ban the New York Times and the Washington Post from the White House because he doesn't like any media that criticizes him. But he certainly likes media that includes terrible figures like Lou Dobbs. Now recently, Lou Dobbs went after Senator Lindsey Graham because he felt that Lindsey Graham just simply wasn't defending Donald Trump enough. Take a look. This is why the Senate needs to take leadership, and I know they don't want to. And this is where where voters need to step in and let their senators know what they expect. You mean they won't participate in the coup? You mean are you talking about the chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Lindsey Graham? Think about this: nothing is happening in the U.S. Senate, Tom. Nothing. No. A, and been- for nine months. The chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee has not lifted a finger to help this president. He blathers little, uh, you know, uh, sound bites, one side or the other, for or against the president every week, it seems, but has done nothing for the American people or truth, justice, and the American way. He is an embarrassment to the government of this country and its traditions. So Lou Dobbs will defend anything and everything Donald Trump does. There is absolutely no line that you know Donald Trump could cross for Lou Dobbs to turn on him. And Lindsey Graham tucked tail and defended Donald Trump over and over again, regardless of what he's done. The only exception is when he, when Donald Trump wanted to pull U.S. troops out of northern Syria. That's when Trump was messing with Lindsey Graham's money and funding from you know weapons manufacturers and private contractors. But in reality, look, Lindsey Graham has been clear on where his loyalty lies, and let's give you a little taste of that. So we have a man who has become a friend of mine. It's shocking, isn't it? It's shocking. We went at it. But I'll tell you what, he has become a friend and he's a, he's a good man. Lindsey Graham, Lindsey. I cannot imagine what you and your family have gone through. Boy, y'all want power. God, I hope you never get it. I hope the American people can see through this sham. To impeach any president over a phone call like this would be insane. You had no intention of protecting Dr. Ford, none. She's as much of a victim as you are. Well, who's the best golfer? Trump's the best golfer. You're the best golfer. <laughs> <laughs> By <that>. far. <laughs> You're looking for a fair process. You came to the wrong town at the wrong time, my friend. That's pretty good, I think, Lindsay. That's pretty good. Now he has. He's really been. He's been great. But that wasn't good enough. For the uh, Lou Dobbs brown shirts, no, you must never waver from the dear leader. And so if you don't know, Lindsey Graham actually uh, passed around a letter that he wanted every other Republican senator to sign saying that they would never impeach Donald Trump under any circumstance. But that's still not good enough. He tried to get everybody on the record to say, I don't care about the facts. I don't care what his crimes are. I will never impeach Donald Trump. Lindsey Graham did that. But still, Lou Dobbs turns on him and says he's not good enough. He's just a little bit talking here, talking there. Today, maybe Lindsey Graham trying to get in the good graces of Lou Dobbs comes out and says, "Oh yeah, Donald Trump saying that it was that he's being lynched is totally fair, totally right. So he's back to licking Donald Trump's boots. If you remember, of course, during the campaign, Donald Trump unmanned Lindsey Graham. And then he doxed him, he gave out his phone number. Mm-hmm. He threatened it, you know, his physical safety. And then Lindsey Graham right back on his knees, licking those boots like a little boy that he is. But still for the brown shirts, not good enough. You know, the fact that Lou Dobbs is given a platform. I mean, you know, when we have discussions about people who have been deplatformed, we're talking about people like Alex Jones who have put private citizens in harm's way by putting out nonsense conspiracy theories about them. Like the Posner family, their child was killed in the Sandy Hook shooting. And then because of Alex Jones referring to that shooting over and over again as a conspiracy, as a false flag operation, his lunatic listeners went after the Posner family to the point where they had to move five different times out of fear for for their own lives and their safety, right? So I, I give you that context because Lou Dobbs, has gone on air and defended a prison guard who tried to run over peaceful protesters as they sat on the ground in peaceful protest in front of a detention facility where migrants were being kept. Why is he given why is he given a platform? How does he have advertisers? How does he how does he have anything? How how is a person like that 
who encourages violence, who incites violence. How is it that Alex Jones pays the consequences for it, but someone like Lou Dobbs is on cable television every night? Yeah, if he's gonna go on air like that, he should at least have the decency to put his hood back on. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.